so here at Sydney Airport, uh, just about to jump on a plane and head to uh, New Zealand. So, see what Ford's got in store for us, eh? Really need to start washing the Raptor more, I think. It's uh, pretty filthy. So I'm here in Queenstown. We're down here at the Southern Hemisphere Proving Ground with the next gen Everest and Ranger in some very, very wintry, chilly conditions. So we're gonna be testing out some cool modes today. Some that we don't get to test out in Australia too often, but we're gonna run these things around in the snow and the ice. Check this place out. So we're currently in the Everest, doing some skids in the snow on a Friday afternoon. I don't really think I could have a better day to be honest. Sideways, back and forth. Driving both the Ranger and the Everest, seeing what they're capable of in the snow. Here we go. Don't travel any faster, just there at that angle. That's the pace. <laughs> just at home, we don't have a lot of snow. You've got to, got to either go to Barrington Tops near me, or you've got to go down south, uh, past Canberra, and uh, just don't have opportunities like this to use all the snow modes and what the range is actually capable of in these conditions, so. Pretty bloody fun. Right, so there's full lock. There's throttle. Still in the throttle. A little bit of brake, let it rotate. Pick the throttle up again. The air is straight ahead. So you just keep the wheel speed. And then here I'm gonna struggle, unless I use the brake, get it to rotate in. Okay, the ice is going to catch us out. So big pendulum here on the brake, rotate, tippy toes, back in the powder, into the throttle. There's straight, and I've got to build another pendulum, so I'm turning right on the brake, in. Right, so don't get caught with your front wheels pointing outwards. You've got to finish those corners off. Lots of throttle, get it out of the snow, rotate early, backwards over the ice. Right, so you can feel the grip, right? So, so it's definitely a rotate early because that ice, we just, we just go sideways, right? So it's just texture again, right? Right, got the feel of it? You guys in the back of the pendulum basically, right? So there's straight ahead again, that's light throttle. Now we're back in the snow, that's full throttle. Angle, bit of brake, get it turned. Always trying to look at the ball, looking where you're going to cross over. This is this is going to be the same. Just don't get caught out on these two icy bits, yeah. right? Because they're both on they're both on that side yeah. of the cones. Yep. So we'll try and we'll try and exit on them. Yep. Right. So you'll you'll start right hand down here and start on the ice. Yep. Because having grip yeah, on the way in is way better than. So no. You're going to go the same way Matt did. Yeah. Yep. All right. Off you go. Turn right. Out of the way. Right, and then here it's a bit more predictable. There you go. <laughs> Good work. 
right? So if you have too much wheel spin on ice, you just it's just a big side slip, yeah, right? So you've got, you've got to manage that wheel spin to a lower amount. There you go. This one you'll probably have to start again because you get stuck with a bit of understeer here. Yeah. There you go, you got away with it, yep. Yep, just straighten those wheels and then just manage the manage the side slip. And we'll park up over by the snowblower. Driver change, mate, well done. Yeah, good Not one. easy with the change of surface, yeah? Nah, like that. It's but you, but, so but, slippery. But you learn a lot. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So it's about, you'll, you'll find that later on once we come out from uh, lunch, is that we'll have almost like a full flat course, no corners will be the same, and you've got to drive over all of these icy spots. So it's just trying to read texture, trying to manage that wheel spin through the through the icy bits, and then being able to know you can lay back into it when you're into the powder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mate, well done. Sweet, thank Let you. Let boys have a driver swap. Tell you what, that was some serious fun. Haven't really experienced that before, driving on basically what is complete hard pack ice in such a sick location. Very, very appreciative for these opportunities. Gotta pinch myself sometimes. Like who gets to do this on a Friday Arvo, New Zealand. <laughs> oh, so good. So much fun. Yeah. Doing donuts in the ice. Some brand new ranges and Everests. My life's pretty cool sometimes. So we're really just learning about throttle control. Be real slow here. Turn, pick. With the uh, the Everest and the Rangers, especially when you go from snow to ice and how much you can just slide. So definitely learning pick, a lot pick, today. Pick. Here you go. Here we going. That's yeah. Yes. Perfect. That was good. Yeah, that was that was perfect. I think you've got to try and get that slide on again. A little bit of break. Slow it up. It's crazy like going snow, ice. As soon as you hit the ice, you're like, phew. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the competition's on. We've got Aussies versus South Africans versus New Zealand. So we're going to see who wins. Should be, uh, should be pretty interesting. Go for it. One seventy three. <laughs> See that cone jump out in front of me? <laughs> that cone moved, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, pressure's on. I just did my time trial. But we've got Aussies versus South Africans versus also the New Zealanders as well. So pressure's on. See who wins the uh, Jim Carner. Check this place out, guys. Like, how good. How freaking good. Yeah, you were in third, but <laughs> congratulations to Pierre. You were the fastest in your group. <laughs> and hopefully this is not a reflection of the World Cup coming up. Uh, but second place, a very good time, minute point six.
from New Zealand, Kyle. Hey. Which means on New Zealand soil, the winners are Australia. Well done, Ty. <laughs> just to just to prove that Aussies won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, the first time Aussies have won on New Zealand soil for a while, I think. Quick photos off, that's cool. Righto, Aussie comes out, number one. Nah, it's all good fun. On NZ soil, putting them to shame, like always. Sorry, boys. So this morning we come up by a four drive bus. We uh, had breakfast at about six o'clock and then we uh, drove up the mountain. So apparently we're not going back by bus. They've got a surprise for us, but I don't really know what's going on. So yeah, don't know how we're getting back yet. So we'll see what they've, see what they've got planned for us. So this is the proving ground where they come to test a bunch of new vehicles, all, all types of manufacturers come here to actually test their vehicles out. So I had an absolutely awesome day. Again, thank you to both teams, Ford and uh, Downforce as well. Like, how, how could you not? Friday Arvo, and we're uh, playing in the snow, doing donuts in the new Everest and the Ranger. Well, I just figured out how we're getting home. Yeah, no.